So today, Quantum Break, you know, they had a, a reveal, a lot of, uh, a lot more details, a lot more, um, just good shit, man. Like, I've been waiting for this game since, like, they revealed the Xbox, man. This shit is fucking dope. So, they just said that, basically, um, with Quantum Break, you get, not only Quantum Break, you get Alan Wake, the DLC, and the, uh, American Nightmare, uh, arcade version of Alan Wake, which is awesome. Like, you, so you get, they're giving you a lot for the pre-order. And on top of it, they just announced that. Um, Quantum Break is also coming to Windows 10, which is really cool for the people that like, you know, that basically exclusively play on PC, you know, so now it gives them a chance to actually play, you know, this particular game, which is fucking cool, man. Now, for me, I probably won't ever use my, um, I, you know, I wouldn't say never. I don't know, I, I have a PC, but I don't use it for gaming. To be honest, I don't even know if the fucking shit can run fucking, uh, Quantum Break. I have no idea, you know. I just, I don't give a fuck about computers that much. I, all I said was, when I was getting it was, I just needed to be able to run my programs, you know, for Adobe and shit. Like, I don't know what the fucking graphics cards are in it. I don't know. Because I, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm not a computer guy. Like, you know, I, you know, I know enough about my computer to be like, alright, I gotta go get another processor or some shit like that. But I don't put the shit in it. Like, to be honest, I, I you know, whatever I need, I fucking will just go buy another computer. I'm not gonna fucking open it up and put shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that shit at all, you know, um, but yeah, man, this game, for people that do care about, you know, uh, PC gaming, that shit is dope, it gives them a chance to play another, you know, really cool exclusive, so they just had Tomb Raider, um, come out for PC, that was a Xbox Holiday exclusive, and now they're having Quantum Break, and this, this shit, you know, I can see, like, what, uh, Microsoft is really doing, they're trying to really get people invested in the whole, you know, Windows Store, and basically, they need a killer app, and they didn't have one, because, I mean, even though Tomb Raider is, you know, you could buy it in the Windows Store, I, I believe it's also on Steam, so you, you know, if you're a Steam owner, you know, there, there's really no need for you to go to Windows, because you could get it through Steam, you know, but now, with Quantum Break being on Windows now, this is like their first killer app to really be, you know, on the Windows Store, so, you know, which, I could have totally seen it coming, I mean, it makes sense, you know, now that, you know, Windows is available, so, man, sh Shit is cool for them, man. But, uh, some Xbox dudes are not too happy. Not too happy about it. It's almost like somebody fucking rained on their parade today. Quantum Break came out and they were like, oh shit. Shit is going to PC. Aw, oh, man, fuck that shit. Which, I'm not quite sure why that fucking matters. Because, as a console gamer, if you only... Like, I can understand if you're a PC gamer and you bought Xbox for Quantum Break solely, which doesn't sound plausible, that just sounds crazy, like, I don't think anybody buys any console for one app, that, that shit makes no sense, alright, unless you're talking about something that you could play a shit ton, like Halo, yes, because, you know, like, Halo's a multiplayer, you can get fucking, you know, you can play that shit for, for years, Quantum Break, you're not gonna play it but so many times, it's a single player game, you know, so, for this to be, like, some shit that people are just in uproar about, I, I don't fucking get it, I really don't, man, you know, cats are talking about, well, they, you know, this is going to keep them from, you know, selling more consoles. What the fuck? Like, unless you work for Microsoft, how the fuck does this affect you? Like, oh, well, what if they don't sell enough consoles? Like, I don't, I never thought about that shit. I never still thought about selling consoles with Nintendo. I never thought about selling con consoles with fucking Sega. I never thought about selling consoles with the fucking first two Xboxes. I didn't give a fuck. Like, it seems like this generation, people were so concerned about fucking selling consoles. I don't get the shit. I don't. I really don't, you know, like, they want Microsoft to buy everything, they want them to fucking, like, why? What is this shit? Are you gamers? Are you fucking working for Microsoft? Like, why does this fucking matter? And the same thing goes for the fucking PlayStation dudes, complaining about fucking sales. Who gives a fuck? You know, I thought we were supposed to be gamers, so stop talking about goddamn sales, man. I don't get that shit. You know, like, the shit is fucking... And it's not even that they just talk about sales. They talk about sales and fucking lose that goddamn minds. Like, get all bent out of shape and shit. I don't... What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Really? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh, is this is this what this generation is? You know, people just, just losing their shit over bullshit? Like, I don't, I don't get it, man. I mean, has the console war fucking polluted your mind to the point that you forgot why the fuck you game? 
has it is it is it that serious you know like anything that's a that's a council war talking point you know these motherfuckers blow out proportion you know just because they're like oh well you know it's going to pc so the playstation fanboys are going to say it's gone who gives a fuck if you get to play the game who gives a fuck like that shit is getting you know at first that shit was kind of fucking funny but now this shit is like on the point of like yo this shit is getting fucking sad like for real though for real though like yeah the first time okay i get it you know it's a interesting talking point but now we're talking about you know the same shit like motherfucking street fighters on fucking pc nobody's getting bent out of shape over that motherfucking fucking all remedy games have gone to pc but yet motherfuckers are losing their goddamn mind one I don't understand why they're surprised. If every single fucking Remedy game has gone to PC, why would this be fucking different? Why? Why? Like, how is this? <laughs> yo, like, yo, man. I, I don't I don't know, man. I, may, maybe I'm crazy. May, maybe I'm not seeing the big picture, you know? I mean, as long as as long as long there's an Xbox to play, I will play on it, you know? That, that's it. That's all I need to know. Is there an Xbox? Does it have games? Can I play it? Cool. That's it. I don't give a fuck about sales. I don't give a fuck about custom consoles because I'm not buying every fucking custom console. Like, I don't understand why motherfuckers worry about that shit. They're like, oh, Xbox needs a new custom console. Why do you care? You don't fucking work for Xbox. You know? Are you going to buy this new custom? If you're not going to buy this custom console, shut the fuck up. You know? Like, for real. For real. Like, people complain about shit they have no intentions of buying. That makes no sense. You know? Like, I, 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 maybe, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Fuck it. I'm nuts. I'm crazy, you know, I don't get it, you know, maybe I'm too worried about other shit to really find this shit to be even fucking, you know, like, it's supposed to be a great day, and we're talking about bullshit, but it is what it is, the nonsense, the console war, but this is your boy Livewire, and I'm out this shit, baby.